Today's meditation is taken from Genesis chapter 39 verses 7 to 14 and the theme we are looking at is Forgotten Women of the Bible, Potiphar's Wife. In this passage, we read about a nameless woman, the wife of Potiphar, the captain of the Pharaoh's royal guard. She tries to seduce Joseph to sleep with her and we see her chasing a few fleeting moments of illicit pleasure. We are familiar about Joseph's response to her attempts to tempt him. He resists the temptation and flees and later ends up in prison. We have often looked at this portion from Joseph's perspective as a fine example of how to flee sin and temptation. But we can also draw some important lessons from Potiphar's wife. She was perhaps a rich, lonely woman who had too much time on her hands. We read in verse 6 of this chapter that Potiphar was not concerned about anything in his household except what kind of food to eat. So clearly we see that she did not get from her husband the attention or intimacy that she longed for and she began to look for it outside of her marriage. Her eyes fell on the young, handsome, talented Joseph and maybe she saw in him all the things that she felt her life and marriage were lacking. She desperately pursued Joseph a number of times only to be refused by him each time. Joseph had his heart set on honoring God and he did not allow the temptation of sexual pleasure to overpower him while she was only concerned about indulging in the moment. He eventually runs away when cornered by her. This rejection hurts her pride and she lies to her husband about what really happened, landing Joseph in prison. We don't know much of what happened to her later. Did she realize her mistake and repent? We don't know. But her story is just as applicable today as it was then. The temptation for men and women to look around for pleasure outside God-ordained boundaries is even more now. We now have multiple opportunities to interact closely with men and women in our daily life. We have to be all the more careful about the kind of relationships we build and the thoughts we entertain. This portion reminds us to guard our hearts because everything we do flows out of it. God has designed marriage to be the framework within which we find our sexual satisfaction. But when we begin to disregard this truth and go after temporary fleeting pleasures, we end up being in a mess. Thankfully, we can learn from the tragedy of Potiphar's wife and be encouraged to live in purity and set our hearts on honoring God. Another important truth that we can learn from Potiphar's wife is that when we don't give our life to Christ and acknowledge Him as the Lord of our life, our lives are on the wrong track. Our attempts to find our worth and value in anyone or anything other than Christ will turn out to be futile. We will end up losing ourselves if we do not find our identity in Christ. As women of faith, we need to be aware of who we are in Christ Jesus and live our lives accordingly. May God help us to draw closer to Him and live in the holiness that He desires from us. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for who you are to us and for who we are in you. Help us to live in the awareness of this truth every day. Help us by your grace to guard our hearts and minds so that our lives and relationships are pleasing to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.